Um, one of the first uh, actions we, we took uh, at the beginning of the project in 2009 was to organize a research. All the platforms uh, organize researchers in their own countries. And that was to find out uh, to what degree civil society organizations were already acting regarding climate change in each of the countries in the project. Our research took place in 2009 and it presented us with a full panorama of the Brazilian civil society actions towards climate change and the articulation of the several Brazilian initiatives, organizations, networks and social movements uh, included, with the international negotiations and initiatives. It also included a short analysis on the participation of these actors in the negotiations at COP15, since it was COP15's uh, year, and in the parallel agenda. Finally, uh, there is a reflection on the opportunities and challenges for the Brazilian civil society on the mobilization around climate change agenda. And uh, here's what our research found out. Uh, in Brazil, the history of environmental organizations started in 1992 with the creation of the Brazilian Forum of Organizations and Social Movements for the Environment and Development, which we call F-BOMBS. Sorry, Irina, the history of cooperation, isn't it? What did I say? This, this is history, history of cooperation, um, of the networking. The history of cooperation, uh, cooperation between the organizations? No, not really. Uh, there weren't any environment organizations in Brazil before 1992. Okay. Yeah, that's... It sounds too... too weird. Yeah, well, maybe some international NGOs were... But, uh, okay, sorry. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, with the creation of this forum, uh, where all the Brazilian civil... well, where many of the Brazilian civil societies uh, gathered, and before the mid-90s, climate change uh, was a theme discussed by few people and organizations and was pretty much restricted to the federal government and scientific and technical institutions. Even in 1997, when the Kyoto Protocol was signed, climate change still mobilized a low participation in Brazil. From 1992 until the middle of the first decade of 2000, F-BOMBS was the only articulation in civil society working with climate change through its climate work group. The signature of the Kyoto Protocol in 1997, its enforcement in 2005, and especially the disclosure of the IPCC fourth assessment report in 2007, made it possible for the subject to become more visible, and that was when most organizations from civil society started to get involved with the thing. The seventh conference of the parties on climate change in 2002 also represented important, an important mark on the growing of repercussions of the climate change subject in Brazil. And we think that it's probably because the debate around uh, the use of M MDL for the maintenance of forests that marked COP7, which is a especially sensitive subject for our country, in which many Brazilian social organizations work with deforestation. Nowadays, um, this, this subject is, uh, we're working with a, 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 a little bit wider, um, with more themes than just deforestation, but that was, that was pretty much it when we started. And that was when they started to take part in the debate, such organizations working with deforestation. The research showed that in the Brazilian civil society, we have two major groups working with the theme, mainly. The first one is, is, is made of organizations that are interested in taking part in the debate and influence the negotiations, but do not have the needed experience and skills to perform such role. And the second, group is, the second group is formed by organizations that have the needed experience and skills to actively participate in the discussion. Oh, God. <laughs> it's over there. Excuse me. Yeah, but I think it's missing. This one, no. And on the other, on the other side, organizations that have the needed experience and skills to actively participate. 
in discussions about climate change and play an important role in the decision-making process of the construction of a resilient position. So, we also found out that presently climate change is an issue of high relevance and visibility in the Brazilian society. And there's a growing number of social organizations of all sizes and shapes focusing on the theme, and also many ones that have recently been created. Even though there is a great number of organizations working with the theme in Brazil nowadays, the sophistication of this debate makes it not accessible to all. Unfortunately, there is only a few organizations with a staff whose qualification allows them to perform important roles in the national and international debates about climate. And this is the situation of most union and labor organizations, which are the organizations we work with. Concerning the participation of these actors at COP15, we found out that three were the areas in which they could act. The first one is networking, exchanging experiences, making contacts with other social organization representatives and gathering experience in the participation in climate change debates and negotiations. By pressing Brazilian dealers in the official delegations, because some of the civil society participants had a status that allowed them to attend the official negotiations, so they followed the negotiators with the Brazilian delegation and were present and aware of the performance of the Brazilian government in the negotiations. And also with information and repercussion. Uh, they played an important, these actors played an important role in producing in real time reports on blogs, websites and other communication tools about the development of the, the negotiations. This information contributed significantly to, this, to deepen the knowledge of the Brazilian population about what happened in Copenhagen. A central point in all the interviews processed by this research was the lack of quality and simplified information for the regular citizen about climate change and the role played by the Brazilian government and society in general in coping with this issue. Although Brazilian civil society has been active since the mid-90s and many organizations in Brazil are references in the reflection and activism in the field of climate change, we found out that it's always the same people talking to the same ones. It is important for the different organized groups and social movements, such as students, universities, social movements, etc., to be able to enjoy this debate and join the mobilization efforts around the issue without the need of being experts on the subject or knowing technical matters behind it. So simplified information will be a key element for a wider participation of civil society, which was one of the main results of the research. Uh, something else that we found out is that uh, there was no need for uh, another uh, for another organization in the same uh, with the same structure as the ones that were already active in Brazil. We actually had, uh, by 2009, a, a wide variety of organizations working with the theme. So what we tried to do, that's, that's, that is the main reason why we decided to work focused on the labor issue also, because there were no organizations working with this theme in, in society and uh, in civil society. And we saw a great need for that, for someone to intermediate their relations, especially in what concerns the green themes. Since the beginning of the project, uh, Brazil has produced, uh, CGP Brazil has produced uh, two short films about the consequences of climate change, one of which we will watch at the end of this presentation. And the first one uh, of them concerns Brazil exclusively, and it's in Portuguese, but uh, Somehow we're, gonna, we're going to uh, share the link with you afterwards. Maybe I don't know if we have like a list of attendants yeah. or something, and then maybe if you're interested, you can watch it because it's kind of long. And uh, th this film that we are showing at the end of the presentation is just five min minutes long, and it's like a short version of um, an 18-minute film that was made on Tanzania, India, and Brazilian platforms. Uh, once the Brazilian platform is focused on the relation between labor and climate change, we have organized annual dialogues 
capacity training event and, and capacity training events on this subject. Always searching for partnership with, partnerships with other Brazilian civil society organizations. We have also been directly cooperating with CUT, which is uh, one of the two main central unions in Brazil, supporting their leaders in the production of simplified information on the official negotiations and on national legislation being produced in order to subsidize their own relations. Moreover, we have been participating and stimulating the participation of unions and central unions in environment networks, which up to not very long ago was impossible due to the historical differences labor and green organizations have concerning this issue, and also in order to broaden their knowledge on the subject, specifically in what concerns international negotiations. A few Brazilian central unions have been sending representatives to the main summit, summits, but only one of these centrals has acquired enough knowledge and is able to count on technical staff, technical staff experienced enough as to understand and act effectively in official negotiations. CGP is also on the advising council of the Green Economy Coalition in Brazil and has been actively participating in a two-year process meant to create consensus within civil society around the Green Economy concept. And for the first time ever, we were able to involve Kuchi in this debate, which gathers different actors from civil society, such as companies, government, academic, social movements, and environment organizations. In the beginning of 2011, our CTP Brussels director was invited to be the Brazilian counselor at the TICT campaign board, campaigns board, in which we have already been participating since the beginning of the project. And as we speak, our 2011 national dialogue called Rio Plus 20, Work and Sustainable Development, is taking place in Sao Paulo. It has been produced in a partnership with organizations such as Friedrich Ebert Foundation, Kuchi, IDECRI, and CSA, which is the Union's Confederation of Workers in America. This event aims to contribute uh, to the creation of a labor strategy on sustainable develop development for Rio Plus 20 through the workers' point of view. Uh, High-level experts were invited to speak about themes such as sustainable development and poverty, mega events in Brazil, because now we have like two mega events coming, which are the World Cup and Olympic Games, and COP17 in Durban. Yesterday, the first day of the uh, event, we had 98 people taking part in the discussions, and the general impression is that the labor movements, that the labor movement is remarkably motivated to take part in such process. Okay. The pictures are very boring, but I'm going to show you. <laughs> so here are some of the speakers. Uh, this woman is uh, the secretary of uh, uh, the Central Union's, uh, the Environment Secretary of Kuchi, one of the main, the two main Central Unions in Brazil. There were like international, it was an international center, so there were international guests. Okay. Um. And uh, the next steps of CGP Brazil in the next eight months uh, will be directed to the preparatory process for Rio Plus 20, in which we are already taking part through the networks we participate in. Uh, we're also planning for next February, February a collective seminar on Rio Plus 20, gathering most central unions and the Brazilian government. It will be organized by CSI, which is the International Unions Confederation, and other labor organizations, among which is CGP Brazil. Through our participation in the global, global Climate Change Action, we were able to join the Rio Plus 20 Civil Society Facilitating Committee, and that will allow us to propose a self-managed activity in Porto Alegre next January during the thematic World Social Forum. Right before the end of our project, we intend to organize it in part of different, in different side events during Rio Plus 20. 
in next July, as well as to support the actual participation of unions in the summit accordingly to their needs. <coughs> Thanks.